Hey guys, welcome back to The Stemulus. I'm Steph S, and today I'm going to be doing my second unboxing video of STEM Box! I got this second box in the mail the other day, and I am so excited to crack it open and do the experiment inside. So, with that, let's get to it! For those of you that may be new here, STEM Box is a monthly subscription box geared to young girls in order to get them interested in STEM. It has an experiment every month. The first one I did, which you can click this annotation to check out, involves strawberry DNA extraction. It was a lot of fun. I love doing it, even as a 25-year-old human, and so I'm more than confident I'm going to have a blast doing this one also. So let's do this. Woo! Business card. That's always awesome. This month, what we'll be doing is owl pellet dissection. Today, you are going to be dissecting an owl pellet. If you want to know what an owl pellet is, you should probably know how they are made first. Owl pellets are made by, you guessed it, owls. Since owls don't have teeth, they swallow their prey whole. Once they've swallowed their dinner, their stomachs begin to digest all that food. Owls can digest most soft tissue, but they can't digest bones and feathers. In order to get rid of the things they can't eat, owls will regurgitate the bones and feathers or fur of the mouse or bird they ate in the form of an owl pellet. If that sounds gross, don't worry. The owl pellets in your box have been sterilized, which means they are clean and safe to use. Well, that's a relief. All right, so we have a bone sorting chart, which I don't know if you can see, but it has the different kinds of bones that I might find in my owl pellet, which I'm so excited to get to. And it comes with a cute little owl plushie. We will name him Arnold, because he looks like an Arnold, and I can't think of any good O names right now. And he's pink because Arnold does not adhere to your gender roles. Sure, Arnold. Okay, so Arnold will sit here and watch me take apart an owl pellet. It'll be great. We also have tweezers, very important, probably not good for eyebrow plucking, but can be used. A collection dish, we have goggles because safety first, always don't want owl pellet stuff in your eye. Elmer's glue, you've got gloves. Hey, these gloves actually fit my hands this time, yay! A cute little owl pad, it's very cute. we we'll go over here with Arnie. Arnie, we're already on a nickname base. Okay. And then I have a magnifying glass that I will take out of the bag now. Great. A wooden probe so you can poke it with a stick. Quite literally, a little tiny wooden stick. Last but not least, we have the owl pellets, which we're gonna dissect. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on the camera so y'all can see me taking this apart. All right, so the first thing that we had to do per the instructions was soak the owl pellet in warm water. So I sacrificed a tiny Tupperware container, which I will never be able to bleach enough. But yes, here we go. So you can see me struggling with aluminum foil and here's the owl pellet. Yum. Just yummy. All right, and soaking it. Here we go. And we are done. Remove the owl pellet from the water, throw away that Tupperware container because no amount of bleach will make that okay. And here we go. Very gently going to start pulling it apart with the tweezers. All right, I had to be really, really gentle and very, very patient while pulling apart this owl pellet, which those aren't some of my strongest qualities, but almost immediately I could start seeing these teeny tiny little leg bones popping out of the pellet and it required so much finesse, I guess, to try and gently pull those away. I also had to use the wooden pick, which you can see right here, to try and clean off um, some of the gunk owl pellet gunk away from some of the bones. I did start seeing jaw bones too pretty quickly and I wanted to try and gently just kind of pull apart the bits with that little wooden pick which it was very very good for. And as you can see, this was a very, very messy process. So parents, if you're having your kids do this, put down a lot of newspaper. I was having trouble keeping all of the owl pellet stuff on my paper towel. As you can see, it's starting to seep through a little bit since the pellet itself was wet in order to soften it. So yes, definitely recommend putting down lots of newspaper and having the Clorox wipes ready to go on this one.
I definitely used the wooden pick a lot in order to try and be very gentle, especially when I was dealing with very fine pieces that might have had crevices like the skull that I picked out, for instance, which you'll see a little bit later on. I was very, very excited to find that one, but there were also some little tiny leg bones that had notches cut out of them, and I wanted to try and clean those notches out the best I could, so I did use the wooden pick for that. Um, the tweezers were fantastic, though, for ge very gently peeling the layers away. Um, my fingers aren't made for very fine work, so the tweezers were a major help. I would definitely recommend using them for anybody that's performing this experiment. Oops, more leg bones. Final results, look at all the bones. I was so proud. All right, so I just finished dissecting my first owl pellet and I picked out some of the highlight bones that I want to show you now. All right, so first off, I dug out a ton of these teeny tiny little leg bones in the pellet. Um, to give you an idea of just how small they are, I put the owl pen that comes with the kit right next to it. The owl pen is about the size of a quarter, so you can see these were tiny. Another thing that I found several of were these jaw bones. They are so small, but you can see the teeth on them still. Isn't that awesome? All right, and now for the thing that I am most proud of that I found. I found this skull. As you can see, this is the top of the skull. You can see the top teeth of the rodent that the owl ate. And then I'm assuming this is the bottom part, but it looks like it because it looks like those are some back molars embedded in there. But yeah, this was the part that I was most proud of, but it was also incredibly difficult to clean because I was trying to really be delicate around the eye sockets. All right, so that is it for the owl pellet kit. Um, if I wanted to, I could go ahead and sift through all these little bones and then Stenbox actually provided this Elmer's glue so that I could glue it down on this piece of paper that they provided and actually go ahead and put out the whole skeleton. But I'm not gonna do that for this one, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of the really awesome experiment. This is so, so cool to get to do this. Actually smells Okay, I thought it was gonna smell really bad, but it smells better than I had anticipated. Um, the kit actually comes with two owl pellets, but I'm only gonna do one just for time's sake. And like I said, just to give you guys an idea of what the experiment looks like. It's a mess. I made a mess, but it was so much fun to sift through. Um, it was a lot harder than I thought it would be uh, to try and pull it apart. I was trying to be very gentle. And even now I can see some of the little tiny bones that I missed as I'm just poking through this. This was a really fun experiment. I know some parents might be balking because, ew, we don't want our kids taking apart regurgitated owl food, but it's actually a lot of fun. And it was really cool to just see all the little pieces pick out. And I was finding myself getting very excited. Oh, it's a jawbone, it's a jawbone. And oh, when I found the skull, I was like, oh, Oh yes! So much excitement and I spent probably 10 minutes just poking out the mud off of the skull and trying to make sure that I kept it intact so I could show you guys at the very end. But as usual, Stembox has done a fantastic job. It's just a lot of fun to go through stuff like this and just learn. If you haven't already, I highly recommend you go check out Stembox, especially if you have a young daughter or niece or cousin or any young woman that you're looking to get interested in STEM. This is a really fantastic, fantastic project and I highly support STEMbox and everything that they're doing. Um, I will include links to their website along with all of their social media down in the description below. So check them out in your free time and please go support them if you haven't already. Just a fantastic project I cannot speak highly enough of. I wish something like this had existed when I was a kid. But with that, that's all I have for you guys. If you want to see more awesome STEM related content just like this, feel free to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to The Stimulus. I'm putting out two videos a week every week to talk about the really awesome STEM stuff going on in the world just like this. Again, please go check out Stembox. I will include links to their stuff down in the description below along with links to all of my social media which you can also check out in your free time. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. Stay well, stay awesome, and I will see you next time. I'm gonna go eat my pizza that's been sitting on the counter. Yeah, that's right. I'll dissect an owl and then go eat pizza. What are they?